Hello and welcome back to uh, the Major Slugfest, aka known as Long War of the Chosen. My name is Ike and we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty. We're in mid of month number six, trading blows back and forth with the aliens. And today we're going to go for an enemy readiness vulnerable hack the workstation. Only 12 enemies uh, there. The squad that we're taking is a newbie squad because all of the, our good soldiers are actually doing relevant stuff. Got our second spark, the white one. We got um, a group, pretty well-rounded team, specialist, grenadier, ranger, shinobi, and sharpshooter, none of which are higher than rank sergeant. So let's hope this is not going to be too difficult. Um, but from the looks of it, it is actually scaringly easy because 12 enemies in an area that has the uh, the amount of vigilance we i think we had 28 vigilance so the baseline couldn't theoretically be 12 uh, uh, very light 12 so either the chosen is going to show up or we're probably running into a so-called honeypot mission where um, reinforcements are going to drop in every single round in which case we're simply going to evac a bit earlier all right let's get started and here we go, we started in high ground. Ooh, that is luxurious. I love high ground. It's a relatively small map as well, I wonder. We're just staying in high ground. If that would work for us. Let's use Oscar Mike right away, since we're in concealment. Moving up. Got a trooper over here, and apparently an entire enemy squad down there. Okay. Oh, uh, here is another spectre. Interesting. Well, I mean, if we don't want to pull both of them at the same time, we should better position ourselves in a way where we're not being spotted out. Sniper takes very high ground. Overdrive moves around here without triggering anything. Our infantry moves over here. Our spark. Hmm, good question. I would still we're I would still say we're aggressively approaching. And thanks to our just general high movement rate, we're already halfway at the target. Now, the next challenge will simply be to not trigger more than one pack. Although this pack on on the left uh, left flank isn't particularly scary. The pack down here, however. Has a lot of hit points. I mean, we could start with a shredding. Yeah, let's. We can see each and every one of these guys here. Same holds true for our sniper. The so sniper goes on to Overwatch. I would say the mech can move up and now sees 
all of them as well. What? Max can hack? I never knew that. I thought their little drone was just for their um, shield. Well, that's not too bad, and their attack score is actually pretty decent. Cool. Good to know. Uh, we're overwatching with the mech. And I would like... to go to here, although it's just half cover. But it serves the purpose for what I'm trying to do. Yeah, we can't get any closer without being revealed, so might as well. I mean, that's two overwatch shots and a massive uh, plasma grenade. It's a good enough start. Oh yeah, it's a pretty good start. That's 20, more than 20 um, points of damage right away. Two of them are immediately down. Yeah, and that does... I'm not afraid about that uh, flank here. like to keep a shot. I don't want to go too close because if the Spectre actually clones him, we're in a bit of a problematic situation because I needed the uh, I needed the protocol, the stabilized protocol, in order to counteract that play. I'm just generally surprised how how you can flank someone and then it's a grazing shot with three points of damage. Should have probably used intervention beforehand to give everyone a nice little bonus. Shifting over our action to here. And that'll put um, the Spectre into level range because now. Now we can also just kill it. All right. So, lots of shots into the open, not very good. Oh, and see, reinforcements are coming. That means it is a honeypot mission, exactly what I was uh, thinking at the beginning. Um, we're evacuating out of here. Hold 
we still got plenty of time but I just want to make sure that we're already thinking about getting out of here Yeah, I don't like the 50-50 too much. Probably don't need revival protocol. Let's start to, to harass um, this guy. There we go. One down. Mech moves a bit forward. Very nice. And that's six out of twelve enemies down. I don't want anyone to get a, a boost, so we need to be careful. Vision range is great, but the chances are too low. System. Given that the mech can hack, I'm wondering if it would be worthwhile just letting the mech do the hacking. And we're staying back here. Dynamite is greedy and we're getting the loot. Nice, Celerium Core, Advanced Stock and Alien Data Cache. That's worth almost 100 gold pieces. <laughs> gold pieces. Supplies, of course. We're not playing any fantasy games. As here is a serious matter. We're trying to defend Earth. No one is paying with gold coins. Good, sir. All right, time for a very solid overdrive. One move. And two moves. Hello there. Oh, sh I shit. I was hoping we're not pulling another pack. Well, life is tough. Probably not a kill. Probably a kill. Nice. Very nice. Eight protocoling. I know who's going to get pretty much shit at next uh, round. It's going to be our mech. Let's get the trooper. Nice one, Big Daddy, good job. Continuing to steady the weapon. We are moving in. 
Well, moving in is probably a little bit too much. Or moving closer. Everyone's too far from one another. Time for the Advent Officer. Hmm. I wonder where the reinforcements are going to drop. It's a 50-50. 80% shot with um, if we're using walk fire. Let's see how far we can injure him. 14 would be nice. Nice. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's in leather range. We can finish him. Very good. Most dangerous of the enemies has been dealt with. Yeah, we're not going to take 20% shots. And I don't feel that a grenade would add an awful lot of value here. Overwatching instead. Let's take a second overwatch. Reinforcements are coming in first, so we're getting two overwatch shots at best. And those are probably, both of them are probably better than 20, respectively 40% shots we could have taken earlier. Well, no, they are not, because it's a 0% shot. Yeah, and now reinforcements are going to swarm in every single round. How far is the command range? <laughs> He's so so close to be in the command range, but yet not there. We are moving over because I want a better position. Good copy. Moving on target. We, we can't see anyone in the old position. Oh no, well, that is intervention I know we don't want to do that. Well the move was still okay uh, because there was no one who, whom we could see from the old position. Pretty okay chances to actually kill. Viper is heavily injured. It's important that he gets the kill so he can steady his weapon 
and increase the chances of hitting next turn. Good, we're moving a bit closer. Since the mech is so large, it could even hack the workstation from here. I love it. That's really good. Dealing with the reinforcements. Dealing with a Viper. Crit for 17. It got a nice little elite stock out of it. Moving down here to finish the stun answer. Good. Which leaves us with one overwatch shot. For whatever reinforcements group is going to show up. Yeah, it's getting worse and worse now. Oh wow, good. Well, can't even attack with our Shinobi. Um, that's not bad. That is Intel. going to go for the reduction. That's essentially 33% intel. So 33 intel. And now we only need to get out of here. Just barely out of range to hit this guy. We, instead, are going to move over here. Start at least killing some of them. By the way, laser weapons might not be cutting it anymore. Taking away the cover. Nicely done. Well, you know, I mean, there is a pretty decent chance that we could crit, effectively killing him.
Target neutralized. And this one time, I think call a target isn't the worst decision. <clears throat> I'm wondering if, since we're so close with the holo target, it's not bad. I mean, it's a 66% chance that we're killing him. <laughs> uh, was worth a try. I'm greedy, we're getting some more loot. Got it. And probably someone is going to get injured. I was about to say that. Very soon, I'm going to get out of here. Threat eliminated. That might be, might even be a kill. Plus, we're moving to the extraction zone. So close. It's down to one HP. Okay, cool. Let's hand the kill over to our grenadier. Moving up for a better shot. Big Daddy overwatches. Overdrive here simply continues to move into the evac zone. Rascal overwatches as well. And yeah, I mean, if you read the kind of mission parameters well enough, it was obvious that it was a honeypot mission because the baseline was way off compared to how the other baselines are uh, looking. But this could have easily gone completely wrong. Good, we're definitely going to get out of here. Couple of shots as a parting gift is all there is. We're not even going to kill the Sun Lancer. Although it would be well deserved. No one likes Sun Lancers. Of course, the one person who could kill him missed his 80% shot. Yeah. Well, good knock. Um, it was a pretty decent mission overall. Out of here. 
Look at that, we got a flawless one for once. The rookies did quite well. Well done. What I like the most about rookie missions is you get promotions. My favorite part about the game. Wow, four of them. Great. Let's start with Big Daddy here. We already said that we wanted to this time do a yeah, a little bit uh, uh, a little bit different. Um, I'm thinking about if we're going the holo targeting route. Hmm. Some of the holo target abilities are okay. I mean, we're still going for with uh, center mass. It's kind of a no-brainer. Um, although Dem High Grid Ground and uh, Lone Wolf for him were really great options. But given that he always has a ship rifle, and because he's one of the lobby characters, we might want to make sure that he at least has um, has an additional chance to hit. That's a lot of defense, though. If he's standing alone, that's plus 20 defense and plus 20 aim, which isn't bad. Let's go with uh, center mass and the 10% crit, flat crit. Good. We could make this uh, mech here more an Overwatch mech. I like the idea with additional defense, makes it harder to hit. I mean, I like Formidable as well. And the reduction from explosives is definitely good. Um, adaptive Aim, we have that on our yellow. Uh, mech. So if I was to skill it normally, I would probably go for formidable. And I think we might want to do that, which means the yellow mech is kind of our low-level mech, and we're trying to actually level the others up a little bit faster. They don't need a break. Um, for her. I mean, we were doing a lot of melee builds, which was good. We could get a go into the whole rapid fire, sort of shotgun uh, build style with her. Doesn't necessarily have run and gun, but still. On the other hand, this here is probably too good to pass um to pass by the parrying plus the flat out 10 dodge is really really good we could go into the executioner route and basically give her a shotgun yeah, but we would need to wait until she gets rapid fire to really, really be effective. Okay, until hit and run, probably. Yeah, we could make her straight up scout. Uh, lo lots and lots and lots of reduction in uh, concealment. Uh, co uh, covert. You know, I mean, Shadow Strike is not really great because she doesn't keep concealment. That's the main problem. And that's essentially for one strike in a mission, you get plus 50 aim and plus 50 bonus critical. Big deal. What we could do 
is we could indeed go for a um, go for a shotgun focused build, Hunter Instinct, Rapid Fire, Low Profile. A hard target executioner that'll allow her to go in including shredder and combat fitness that'll allow her to go in and essentially shred all of them and that's not too bad executioner though wouldn't really be uh, worth it because she she would not execute someone she would try to zero someone from 100% down to 0%. So I think it's again down to Shadow Step for removal, uh, f uh, which is not triggering uh, Overwatch, but she would. Um, it would not be Lightning Reflexes. It gets rid of Overwatch, but she would at least not trigger Overwatch. That's not a bad ability. On the other hand, I probably would want to stick with this because objectively speaking, there is not too much advantage uh, from uh, from Shadow Step. At least not if we're, you, let's say we're in a situation where we are fighting against a pack of five to six enemies, two, three or four of which start to overwatch. Then Shadow Step, and we had a couple of these situations, then Shadow Step just doesn't really do anything other than letting her move to an enemy. Then that's not enough. We could make her a tank. I like the idea. Essentially hard target. Bladestorm is almost a must. But then branch out into evasive instead of reaper. Yeah, and if we make it to here, Whirlwind. She has Shredder, so sh theoretically we could pull off... Theoretically we could pull off builds that rely on actual weapon usage. That is possible with her. And you know what? We might want to do it. I mean... We might want to do it. There is nothing wrong with it. On the other hand, the melee attacks were pretty effective, so there's nothing wrong with that as well. Question is, do we use covering fire or do we wait until shredder? Uh, I say we wait until shredder. Good. He is already too far in the normal build path, so we're not going to inter intervene or interfere with it. We're just using the normal build path here, fortify and keep on going. Um, we will get another rookie that we can skill differently. Like into shotguns, for instance, and just making the shotguns better for him. Essentially the ones that we that are down here, Lance Corporals and Squaddies. Good. Um, specialist and Technician Training. I really want another Assault. That's a given. And then let's see what else we can take. By the way, do we have recruits? Yes, we do have a couple of recruits. Fresh meat, just what we need, more people. So we most certainly can't do that in 11 hours. I, we don't have a team that is ready to go into an uninfiltrated supply run. The supply run will mean that we're going to have more um, strength here probably gets back to strength seven or eight we now have vigilance 30 that is crazy i i don't know if i've seen it that high ever 
We really, really, really pissed them off. <laughs> Lovely. And in typical fashion, prevent the resistance data leak. Ooh, okay. Four days, 12 hours. Should definitely do that. Let me get a team together. Good, after a little bit of modification, we came to a team of six. We are going to let the team be led by Mitch Mitchell. Bayer are well hitting. Um, Gunner is going to be there. Overdrive as a support. We got Rascal for damage. We got Glitch for additional cover removal. And we got our Secondo Spark, which does need uh, doesn't need to have any breaks uh, in between uh, the missions because it's not getting tired so might as well put it onto the next mission with a boost we're getting to exactly a hundred percent which would be a baseline of 13 to 15 enemies and that is what we're trying to fight against we won't make any uh, net benefit uh, net gains of intel but Preventing the leak is very valuable and we're going to get some XP on top of it. So I'm fine with that trade. Got another recruit over here. All of the other havens do not have additional recruits, so we're going to be fine for now. I'm wondering to which degree we might want to fill up South Africa. Doesn't matter now, but I feel having additional recruits always uh, was quite worthwhile. And you know what? Why not? I mean, at the moment, I'm not looking to fill up additional missions anyway, so... Let's just put everything on recruitment. And whom could we take as a Haven advisor for that? Might as well take one of the assaults, which means we got a free scientist, which we're then assigning to reduce the research time. We wanted to do that anyways. So coil guns down to 10 days. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Most important at the moment is to get coil gun, uh, guns done. And what you probably all have been waiting for uh, would be the infiltration of the HQs, which is currently at 36 and 24%. But our progress uh, project slowly making progress. Continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Got to make sure that we're that we're soon going to interrupt it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same distance. No matter if we make the contact via Europe or essentially over here in Australia. Australia might even be the better choice because volunteering army is a better uh, bonus than munition ex uh, experimental. So might as well want to go via here. Hmm. Okay, but that means we need to plan ahead and probably get more resistance com uh, comps, 150 supplies and 4 power. By the way, can we build something? I mean, we could go for another spark, but we're missing a larium. We 
we can go for another spark but that would be the expensive shadow keeper is another option again it costs extra money what we could do is we could upgrade our ring here which would be 60 plus 150 is 210 and 6 power i mean it's doable could also upgrade this here another 60 so we're looking at what 210 270 we got quite a few things that we can sell let's check the black market real quick Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. in terms of buying I mean damn I would want to buy a couple of these but we simply don't have the supplies like that here buying sergeants for 80 pff, easy not a problem advanced perception yeah there are some good items that we could use we definitely don't have enough Valerium cores. We can start with some stun lancers and troopers, a bit of purifiers, certainly a few vipers. 150, okay. A few mutants. I would like to keep the data pad for now. Let's straight up Intel. Sector and Faces Corps are important sector for mine shields, which I want to build more of. Don't want to sell laser weapons. Can sell one. We're not going for Psy anytime soon. And if we're uh, training psionically active characters, we're certainly not using a normal PCS Psy. We're getting an advanced one. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we can get rid of that as well. So, 12 more. Let's sell... Uh, Single Bursa Corpse. Good. Which means... Oh, wow. We got a lot of engineers ready. Um, you know what? Maybe we're buying, uh, building a workshop. Certainly can build the resistance communication over here. And let's upgrade to level 3, which is great. Can we upgrade the laboratory even further?
laboratory facility upgraded. Lab is at maximum capacity. Let us get our last scientist. Like right out of here. We can put a scientist, a wounded scientist, into this position. I think we need to wait until the scientist with zero hours uh, wound recovery time, Tarek, is coming back. Setting course for the East African sector. It was showing us uh, that the scientists had zero hours recovery time, but probably that's wrong because I was putting him into a uh, resistance ha a haven advisor role when he was still gravely wounded. So probably that just prevented the wound healing time. Yeah, too bad. Good, here in Brazil, we're done with recruiting. Which means we are switching to Intel. Essentially looking for new missions. And that also means we don't need a Haven advisor anymore, but rather a scientist. And Tarek who is gravely injured might as well be that scientist. In the meantime, all of the other regions are recruiting. I would say let the tired um, personnel continue being tired and don't put them into the into the positions. Good. Everyone has a resistance uh, advisor now, and we're continuing to recruit. Advent stun lancers gain in fighter ability, which grants bonus dodge against nearby enemies. And we got ourselves a mission with just 23 hours time. We got negative trait removed, which is perfect. Got to continue doing that as soon as the next soldier is ready. And one of our but there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment. One of our scientists just has recovered from being wounded. So I know it sucks. But we got to test both of them. Commander, there we go. Finally. We have at least one member Want to make sure that our research just really continues. That has the highest priority. Reducing coil guns even further. Because of Advent Raid? What, 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 what? Oh. Well, <laughs> here's the thing the unhindered operation is 
effectively killed four of our soldiers here. And we're back to recruiting. Should have, uh, probably shouldn't have tried the mission. Yeah, too bad. Good. That's an easy Seesaw Grab mission with a newbie team. So that's perfect. Exactly what we need now. Um, but we're going to do that in our next run. So this will give us some more supplies. We're probably aiming for two to three crates, and that's pretty much it. Plus a couple of promotions. Thank you so much for watching today. I enjoyed playing uh, the campaign. If you got value out of uh, the video, please be so kind and leave a like and or a comment down below. That helps the channel and inspires me to continue the work. Thank you and goodbye.